Here's a quick update on the UI layout tool. I'm going to um, drag in a Swift file here. So that's Flash. And then I'm also going to drag in um, a bitmap. OK, and we're going to, uh, and what we have today is exporting to SVG and XAML and almost exporting to DirectX. OK, so uh, we'll just bring some symbols on here, maybe an arrow, a couple of these hexagon things we'll repeat um, what else pick and repeat all right so we can of course line these up and distribute them as we have been doing um, and this will work with basically everything that works in this we also have uh, um, well here let's just make this super complicated we got rotate and repeat and that kind of stuff I can uh, do uh, duplicate this and shriek it and rotate it a little bit and move it and then I can repeat that all the way down okay and what we're gonna do here is export to SVG okay and then we'll go find this SVG file here it's untitled so I double click that and that will come up in a browser and SVG is actually working really good in browsers must be said Okay, so we can also export to XAML here, but I guess that's not all that useful anymore, but just to show. Um, and we got untitled XAML here, and I believe I have this other XAML viewer that may not fit in here, but there it is. Um, and lastly, we are um, also using, we well, have been using this file format to go to DirectX. Um, and I have the content pipeline for the um, the new version of the old file format running but um, what we can do is demo the old one here okay so here we are in Visual Studio this is to make XNA the the game maker or whatever and we run this and um, this is the exact same format as uh, the current VEX format that runs this tool but um, what's different about it is um, the, it's now optimized for uh, version control and that kind of stuff. Okay, so and you can see we have Box2D in here. Um, and the, the typical file to do this that we have been using is in Flash like this. And you can see we have the, the symbols in here and the elements, but it's all very static. These are the joints. Um, this is a rotation joint, distance joint, that kind of stuff. But um, what this new tool will enable is things like um, live joints in the editor and that kind of stuff. So I'm quite excited about what the future may bring with this. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching.